Just wanted to make a quick video. If you've never seen a new well going in, if you're not familiar with uh, the mess that's associated with it, that's kind of what this video is about. Just wanted to show you an example of uh, the drill tailings. This is uh, what came out of the ground. This is actually only about half of it. I've moved about half out already. It's kind of just a sandy, you know, sandy loam from the center of the earth, or from, in my case, 400 feet down. There's quite a bit of it. And if you're not prepared for this sort of thing, it can kind of be of a, a shock. And again, this is only about half of what uh, was pulled out of the ground. Also associated with it is uh, the drill, the drill clays or the drilling fluid. If you're not familiar with that, that goes everywhere. I'm gonna show you where they piped it to or sent it to so that you can have an understanding because that's something you gotta deal with. This will get all over the place and it's something that you have to deal with. This is my, oh, my well pump that will actually go back in this is actually in good shape. You can kind of take a look at some of the piping and the corrosion associated with it. That'll all be replaced. But this is uh, my new well right here. This goes down 400 feet. And you can take a look over there, my old setup with the PVC case. This is, in fact, steel cased. That's the gravel that's associated with it. They make a filter out of that that goes around the casing all the way down to the bottom of the well and all the way back up. That's the gravel. So you need to be ready for that too because the gravel will get all over. If you're not ready for that, that can be kind of a shock. I'm actually pretty happy with this level of, uh, I'll just say mess. It can be a lot worse. Walking over, you can kind of see how things will kind of look on the ground. But I was fortunate enough to have uh, in my yard the drainage I have set up for rainwater. You can kind of see how the clay, the drilling clay, the drilling fluids get all over the place regardless, and that is drilling fluid. It will actually dry and kind of crust up, as you can kind of see here. This will crust up, dry, and it can be raked up and then put into uh, the trash. You can throw it in a field, till it up, or whatever your local laws provide for. But these, this actually is part of my drainage system. And I don't know if you can tell on the video or not, but this was all piped in with a, a flexible pipe. And this is now all sludge. My whole drainage system is full of sludge and water. It's gonna, I'm gonna let it dry up and then I'm gonna take my tractor and I'm gonna dig it all back out. And I'm either gonna put some of it in, uh, in the trash over the course of time, or I'll put it in my backfield and till it up. I'm told that it actually can be disposed of that way in my local area. But again, you'll have to check the laws in your area. I'll show you a better example of the sludge. I kind of have a nice pile of it here. If you take a look at the sludge, just a great big pile of sludge. Try and see if I can give you some better definition with it. But that is a about a six inch pile of sludge by about three feet or so that I'll just let dry and I'll shovel it up. And then over the top of the sludge, the sludge will actually kind of coat the ground, the clay will coat the ground, okay? And the water ran over the top, so it's having a hard time. The water, it's actually been a couple of days, is not soaking in the ground because of the coating of the clay and the clay's preventing the water from being soaked up into the ground. And here it kind of flowed into my holding pond. The water flowed over the top of the sludge and kind of collected here. And there's less of a problem with sludge in here, but it still is present. So again, just wanted to show you this video. If you've never drilled a well before, had to deal with the aftermath of it, 
Hopefully you'll find this helpful.